<sighs> the Cowboys looking to get back on track this week after losses to the 49ers and the Lions in grand fashion, by the way. Fans hoping they can turn things around this week, starting with the Falcons. Joining us now with a preview of Sunday's game in Atlanta, we got our Locked on Cowboys podcast host, Landon McCool. Welcome, Landon. Thank you. Uh, hopefully we got better results coming this week because it's been uh, pretty brutal these last few. Well, listen, from your lips to the man upstairs. All right, first things first, injury report. Micah Parsons, is he coming back? Who else is out? Yeah, it doesn't sound like Micah's coming back this week. I mean, they, they keep kind of in, in – anticipating a, a return from him and he, and he keeps kind of taking steps each week it seems like I think a lot of us anticipated him coming back last week uh, against San Francisco with a bye week uh, didn't happen it didn't seem like he took un quite enough steps to clear the hurdles he needed to to come back uh, so I would not expect Micah Parsons and then on top of that it sounds like Deron Bland still is also not back uh, and then it just got announced this morning. Trayvon Diggs has not been practicing so far this week. And uh, Jerry Jones on the radio show with 105.3 this morning uh, mentioned that he may have a tear in his calf. So uh, it doesn't sound great for him playing this week. And, and there could be a potential that that may be a lingering thing, depending on how severe it is. Landon, no secret, a lot of fans are frustrated right now. OK, so what do you think the Cowboys need to take into Sunday's game to get the win? Well, I mean, I think all the things we just mentioned uh, are, are going to be problems for the defense specifically. And, and we're going to have to come into uh, another week where the Cowboys defense is extremely shorthanded talent wise. And you're going to need the offense to kind of step up and, and play complimentary football and hopefully score a bunch of points to keep the defense off the field and to keep you know pace ahead of the Atlanta Falcons. The unfortunate thing is that that hasn't quite happened. It, it seems like, you know, the offense has kind of sputtered a little bit, especially early on in these games. There's been certain times when it feels like they found a groove and then kind of lost it again. So I think if the Cowboys are going to survive this with an even further depleted defense, they're going to need their offense to kind of take another two steps up from where they were uh, and be a little bit more consistent throughout the game so that they can score points and, and keep that defense off the field. Of course, there's a new face at quarterback there in Atlanta. Kirk Cousins, my man wearing chains, hanging out, got a whole mm -hmm. new persona. I mean, how do the Falcons shape up against the Cowboys? I'm a little worried about Bijan myself. Yeah, I mean, listen, this is a, a, an offense that has a lot of uh, talented players in the skill spots, including, you know, Kirk. And he's doing the swag surfing every once in a while <laughs> when he's getting when he's got the groove going. And, and, and then on top of that, they've got a, an improved offensive line. It's, it's a very quality offensive line. This is this is an offense that the Cowboys defense needs to be you know scared of. They, they faced a murderer's row of familiar, uh, uh, dangerous offenses. This is one that is a dangerous offense that's just sort of kind of coming together. They're starting to, the pieces are starting to fall into place. They have a ton of talent. Uh, they can run the ball. Obviously, with you mentioned Bijan, who's maybe one of the most talented running backs in the NFL right now. The Cowboys have clearly had problems stopping the run. So that's, you know, line one is trying to find a way to slow down this Atlanta's, Atlanta offense and give your offense opportunities to score points. McCarthy, is he at risk? I mean, you have to think so, right? Like, I, I feel bad for the guy because he has won 36 games in the last three years. But, I mean, look, look, the coaching performance this year has just not been up to snuff. It feels like you know, there's obviously a lot of youth on this team and there's been a lot of mental errors. And that's, you know, something to be expected. But at the same time, that's your job as the head coach. You're the one who put all the young players in there. You put the, the players in the position. You knew what you were putting out there. You have to find a way to work around that. You have to find a way to put your players in good positions to to, to make plays and, and to win football games. And it feels like, yes, yes, the young, the team is young and they've had problems and they've made mistakes. But but ultimately that falls back on the head coach. And so, he, you know, if they continue to lose games, especially games where you feel like they should be winning them, uh, it, it's going to be hard not for, for the fall, the sword to fall on, on Mike McCarthy at this point. All right, Landon, last one. Rapid fire score prediction. I'm going to pick Atlanta. It's just too tough at this point. I need Dallas to I need Dallas to show me something before I can pick them again. And I, I just right now it's it's tough with all the injuries. I'm going to pick uh, Atlanta 31 to 28. Oh, it hurts because it's true. Landon McCool mm. with our Locked on Cowboys podcast. Thank you so much. You can catch Landon with new episodes of Locked on Cowboys every day. You can watch wherever you get your podcasts. And today on our streaming app, WFAA Plus, a new episode is set to stream at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Great listening over that lunch break. Get the app free on your Roku, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV.